Hello! In today's Bug Bounty Report Explain, you will learn how you could have stolen private videos from me or from other YouTube creators. The vulnerability was reported by David Schutz and he got $5,000 for it. Links to his blog post and to his Twitter are in the description. Enjoy! All videos on YouTube have one of three different visibility attributes. Public, which is self-explanatory, unlisted, which means that someone needs to have the link to the video to watch it, or private, which is also quite obvious. And the goal of the backhunter was to leak the private video of another user. So he created a second channel with a private video, copied this video's ID, and on his first account he replaced this ID in all his requests looking for insecure direct object references. But turned out that all endpoints on YouTube were protected and error messages contained the information, the video is private. However, Google has many products with which YouTube integrates. And the good thing about integrations is that they are often not as secure as the main product. So the bug hunter started to look for vulnerabilities on Google Ads. It's a service that allows YouTube creators to promote their videos or products. For example, you can purchase an ad that will be displayed before someone else's video and when the customer clicks on the ad, he gets redirected to your video or to your external website. But if I would create such advertisement, I wouldn't like to publish the 30 seconds video in your subscription feed, but I'd rather keep it private. That's why Google Ads needs access to your private videos. And when creating an advertisement, you can select moments. For example, you can define in which part of your video company logo or the external link will appear. And those moments are listed on the right hand side along with the frame from the selected moment. This is the request that fetches that thumbnail every time you create a moment. Value of 1 is ID of the video and value of 2 is the moment in milliseconds. Before we continue, I have a small announcement. I've been getting messages that some of you do not see my videos on YouTube even though you are subscribed. That's why I created a mailing list to which you can sign up for free. You will be notified about my new videos but also any bonuses or other materials that I may create in the future. I promise privacy and no spam. Link is in the description. Ok, time to come back to our vulnerability. So the researcher replace the video ID with the video from the second account as many times before. However, this time it worked. The response contained base64 encoded frame from the private video. So it was something, but stealing one frame has relatively low impact. Let's see if it was possible to steal the whole video. With 30 frames per second, Every next frames occurred roughly 33 milliseconds later. The researcher created a proof of concept that fetched all the frames from first 3 seconds of the video. Then he connected those frames into a GIF file to see the actual moving video. This way you can steal whole private videos. Google paid $5000 for this report showing how important it is to them. However, the attack is a bit limited because you need to know the video ID and leaking this ID would itself be a vulnerability. Moreover, you can't hear the video and also the resolution is quite small. Of course, the vulnerability has been patched and your private videos are now secure. I think the main takeaway from this report is that integrations are often less secure than the main products and impact is still equally high. 
Anyway, if you feel like you've learned something new today, leave a like and leave a subscription. Thanks for watching and goodbye.